Hello and welcome to Dressmaking Amore. Today in this video, I'll show you how you can sew this elegant and ethereal peasant style dress that's perfect for breezy weather. It has the prettiest cuffed blues on sleeves, this charming neckline with ties, and an effortlessly simple A-line silhouette. This dress is easier to sew than it looks, so let's get started using our Celine sewing pattern, which you can get at the link below this video. Here are the materials that you'll need. For the dress that I'll be showing you how to make in this tutorial, I chose this really pretty printed chiffon as I wanted it to have lots of movement. For this white dress, I actually used a crinkle rayon and it worked beautifully as well. Just make sure that you pre-wash your fabric so that the garment won't shrink after a wash. Okay, let's get to sewing. We'll start by pinning the center front seam of the front piece. Start pinning the pieces right sides together from the mark at the top down to the bottom. Then sew the seam. First press the seam allowance as it is, and then we can press it open. Fold the edges of the seam allowances underneath in half like so, and pin. Now press. And in the same way, pin the opening at the center front and press. Edge stitch the folded seam allowances. Here's how the front opening looks from the right side of the dress. Edge stitch the other side of the seam allowance as well. Secure the ends of the neckline opening with a horizontal stitching line. Here we're going to press the center seam and the neckline opening. And cool it down with a wooden tailor scalper. I've got a link to one below if you don't own one yet, but a folded towel here will work in a pinch. Place the front and back pieces right sides together and pin the side seam. Fold the sleeve right sides together as well and pin the side seams here. Make sure that you have two symmetrical sleeves. Now sew the side seams of the dress and the sleeves. Serge these seams. Press the side seams first as they are and only then press them to the back of the dress. And press the side seams of the sleeves and cool them down with our tailor scalper. At the back of the armhole, you'll see a mark that should match up with the mark at the bodice back piece. And pin the other sleeve in the same way. Sew the armhole and finish. And we'll do the same here, press the seam as it is, and then press it to one side. And now to our sleeve cuffs. We're going to make a little two by sewing up one side of the short edge of the cuff and press the seam allowances open. Then fold it in half like so and press. Mark the quarters on the bottom edge of the sleeve and mark the quarters on the sleeve cuff as well. And now we're going to gather the bottom edge of the sleeve. Here we're going to place two gathering stitches, 5mm wide and 4mm apart. Turn the sleeve to the wrong side and place the cuff inside the sleeve so that it's right sides together and pin them matching up the marks. Sew the cuff to the sleeve. Your seam here should go in between the gathering stitches. Take out your pins as you go. And finish the edges and press the cuff. To start on our neckline, we'll first make our binding. Using a 12mm or half an inch bias tape tool, press your neckline binding. Now 
Use a clapper to cool it down as you go so that the binding will hold its shape. Check the length of the neckline binding with your pattern piece before sewing. Place two gathering stitches around your neckline, then change your settings on your machine to a wider stitch, around 4 to 5 millimeters, and place your gathering stitches 5 millimeters or about 1 quarter inch apart. Now mark the center back of your neckline and mark the center of your binding. Now gather the neckline to make it equal the neckline binding. Start pinning from the center back to the front. Pin the unfolded edge of the bias to the neckline edge right sides together, evenly distributing the gathering along the neckline. At the front opening, you want to fold the bias ends towards the bias tape. Sew into the crease of the tape. Then turn it over and understitch the bias tape 1 to 2 millimeters from the edge, securing our seam allowances. Press the seam and flatten the neckline gathering. Trim the seam allowances, making them even and leaving about 3 millimeters. Start pinning the other side of the bias tape around the neckline from the center back. Sew 1 to 2 millimeters, or about an eighth of an inch, from the edge. With this, we have created the casing for the neckline tie. Now we can take out the gathering stitches from the neckline. And of course, press. so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to sew a dress yourself. I know you're going to love it. You can get the PDF downloadable sewing pattern that I used at the link in the description of this video and happy sewing! <laughs>